watercoloring friends welcome back to my channel and welcome to another month of what I worked on <laughs> I can't call it completed pages this month in good conscience because um, there's so very little of completed pages I definitely did a lot of coloring I didn't do a lot of finishing <laughs> so um, I'm gonna show everything I worked on regardless of whether it's completed or not and um, then hopefully set myself to uh, finish some of these pages up in this coming month. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, first one, I figured I'd start with finished pages and then I'll show all the unfinished pages afterwards. And uh, this is in the Mystery Mosaic Cinema by Belba Family. And I finished this one here. This is obviously all themed they're all themed from movies I was super excited about this one because uh this is if you can't tell it's uh dirty dancing um I knew just from the quote there's always a quote from the movie on the prior page and um yeah this was a favorite favorite movie of mine for a long long time so I was super excited to see this one in here. I don't know all the movies in this book looking at the quotes, but this was definitely one that I did. So that was a fun one to do. And that was in Mystery Mosaic Cinema. Oh, and if you happen to catch uh, a dirty look to my fingernails, I uh, made some jelly yesterday with berries and they are stained. I scrubbed and scrubbed, I promise, but uh, it's just stained in there. So I'm not coming on here with disgusting fingernails. It's just, it's the way it is right now. <laughs> Hopefully it'll come off soon. Uh, this is in the Crayola Art with Edge Optical Illusions Volume 2. This is a new one for me. I was super excited to find it in Walmart. Um, I had the first one and was very excited to add the second one to my collection. And... So excited, in fact, that I dove right in and colored two pages in it right away. So I did this one. Um, this is like a, it's a mix of fish and stingrays. So that was fun. And then I also did this one with the monsters peeking out from the middle of the page. I think that one is super cute. Um, this was the first one I actually did, so... Yeah, lots of fun. Just use marker and just sit and enjoy coloring. Good times. Uh, that's in the Crayola Art with Edge Optical Illusions Volume 2. And let's see. Let's get back here. I have two more that I actually finished. Uh, in the Mandala's Coloring Book by Coloria. Um, I, you will possibly have seen a video, um, if you caught that, of me working on this one. And, again, I didn't mark it. That wasn't very smart of me. And I did a video coloring outside and working on this one. So what you will not have seen in that video is uh, I ended up having to do a background because I got some sunscreen splotches on my page and I needed to cover those up. So I wanted to do Distress Ink background and I didn't have the colors I wanted to use. So I opted for Coran Dash Neo Color 2s and um, with... Uh, medium results I think. I am still learning with those and I didn't quite get the coverage I wanted on it but I was trying for a tie-dye look and uh, it did cover the sunscreen splotches so that is better than nothing. Um, very happy with how the mandala turned out. I think that color combination is just one of my favorites I think. So um, yeah, that was a fun one to do for sure, and um, very relaxing too. So uh, if you didn't catch the video, I will link it above in case you're interested. Um, and that is what I did in the Mandala's Coloring Book by Coloria. 
And then I've got one more finished, which is just a touch maybe cheating because I did finish this page up on July 1st. Um, but this is in Johanna Basford's Lost Ocean. This is the artist edition. Um, so the pages are quite big. It's nice, nice, thick, thick, almost cardstocky paper. And they're all kind of detached from the book here. Um, so you can pull them right out and frame them if you want. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I did this one here, this fish. And I use mostly Prismacolor pencils and then some metallic paints on some of the accents. So let's see if I can get those metallics to show a little better. There they are. Yeah, so that was a fun one to do. I did finish that up, like I said, on July 1st. So it's pushing it a little bit for June, but I colored the majority of it in June. I really just did the metallic paint part um, on July 1st. So, so that's another one done in June, I'm saying. <laughs> um, and that was in Johanna Basford's Lost Ocean Artist Edition. And I have to, I don't have this one in the regular size. So I'd, I'd be interested in, in getting that book because this just has and I, I think I bought this from like a book outlet or something like that at some point. Um, and it just has like a selection of 24 images from the book. Um, so it'd be nice to have the complete book in my collection too, because I think I'd like to color in it. Um, and now we're on to the major, major, major amounts of whips. And yes, I have my work cut out for me. I will be putting them all in my whip notebook. Um, if you haven't seen how I do that, I will link the video above if you're interested in checking it out. But um, basically, when I have a whip, I keep the pencils all tucked in till the end of the month. And then um, I go ahead and take the pencils out, write what pencils I'm using on what page in what book and then put the book and the pencils away. And if I want to go back to finish the whip, then I know where to grab it all. But that way I'm not, I don't have stacks and stacks of books with pencils stuck in them around. So um, in Coloring Heaven Unicorn Special, I started working on this page here. And you can see that's being, that's being worked on with the Prismacolor pencils again. Um, if this is the Myrmicorn Coronation by Heather R. Hitchman. So just having fun trying some different blends with my colors and I think it's going to be gorgeous when it's finished. I love these colors in here. So just trying to make it beachy and um, so I will hopefully continue on that one this month. That's one I'd really like to get done in July. Um, let's see where to go with these. And then this is one I've been working on for a few months, actually. And I thought, I thought maybe I could get it done this month and it just didn't happen. So this is in Colors of Daydreams by Nicolette Delafray. And I love this book so much. Love the illustrations in it. And I am in the midst of coloring a bunch of tulips in these fields here. So... I think I made some decent progress at least. I got the windmills done and the paths. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try to keep going with this one too. I This is another one I'd really like to finish up because it's been a whip for a few months and I really want to see it completed. I think it's going to be gorgeous. So so that's in The Colors of Daydreams by Nicolette Delafray. Then I have one that I started in yet another Coloring Heaven magazine in the Cabbage Patch Kids. And I started working on this one here. And 
This is another one I was using Prismacolor to work on. I think I'm on a kick with those right now. So, and super cute. Another one where I could easily get it done. There's not much left to it. I'm going to have to add in some kind of sky colors for the background and ground. Um, but, yeah, so that is in the Coloring Heaven Cabbage Patch Kids collection. Love that one. And I started another one in Mine Summer Spas Are Gone uh, by Rita Berman. And there's barely anything started with this one. Um, but... I just, I, I had a, my new set of uh, the Tombow Erojitin pencils and I pulled um, just a couple colors just to kind of play around and try them out in a book. So I like how it's coming. It's going to be a pretty page. It's, I've got a ways to go on this one. This may be one that gets tucked back for a little while because, um, but we'll see. You never know. So that is that whip. But wait, there's more. Uh, this one, I actually have a video started on this one. Um, working on a page in this book, Vive la Color Tropics. And I don't believe that they list an artist on this, as far as I'm aware. Copyright, hatchet, the illustrations are Shutterstock, so... Um, and this is one of those books that I always pull out and flip all the way through and then I'm like, eh, I don't know, I don't want to color that. Um, so I wanted to nail down a page to get a page colored in it because I just like having, like having books that at least I've done something in. Um, makes me feel less like I'm hoarding them. And, um, I decided to work on this with, uh, watercolor pencils, so... I am, I want to film the whole page being completed, so I've kind of been working on it in steps and filming as I go, and um, hopefully you will see that soon in July. And then I have, yep, see, like I said, I did a lot of coloring, I just didn't finish anything. <laughs> uh, in Cute Mandalas by Apsi Samanasiri. And I have been working on this page here. So super cute little treats mandala here. Um, it's another one again that I feel like would be super easy to finish up if I just um, nail myself down and do it. So, so here's to uh, attempting that very soon. And then, let's see, I think I have one more here. The last one, this was a buddy color that I was supposed to have done in May. And I am leaving it out because I will get it done. So I'm going to keep keep going with it um, in Mythic World by Kirby Rosanis. And... Um, I've gotten a bit more done. I think most of what I worked on this month was just continuing with the background. Um, it is definitely taking me a while. So uh, the, the good thing is I like how it's coming. So um, I'm not upset about that. It's just, it's just taken me a while. So, but that's okay. Um, and that is it. That is everything I worked on. Uh, this month with respect to coloring. Now I did do a few other crafty things which I'm gonna share just because I feel like uh, I feel like it's a crafty environment and I want to share it. So um, I am working on this little uh, it's it's like a book hard to show here. It's like a little book uh, nook basically. So you build it and then you put it, uh, slide it in between your books on your bookshelf and it's sort of like a little secret world um, on your shelf. And I, I've been working on it for a little bit in kind of bits and pieces. Um, but this month primarily I did, let's see if I can move this out of the way and show this a little better. 
so this month I worked on, I got this little chest built and this little newspaper rack and then all these, let's see if I can pull them out here, all these little books here. So you get the you get a sheet of papers with the book covers and then a sheet of little pieces of wood in the shape of books. And you have to pop those out and then cut the little book covers and um, then glue them on. So they're super cute though. Look at this. They actually have, let's see if I can get it to focus here. They actually have the like little book titles on the book covers super tiny so I thought that was really cool but there are oh I think it's like 60 60 some books that you have to build for the for the house here's another one with kind of a cool cover that's a cow on the cover I know it's hard to hard to see whoops but Yeah, so I started working on building all the little books and um, and same thing with those newspapers. You had to cut them out and then roll them up. Um, so I'm trying to work on this a little bit every month so eventually I get that finished too. Um, but super cute, super fun. And then the last thing I made was... Uh, it's, it's called a Yip Yip from Sesame Street, and uh, a co-worker asked if I could make her one, so I crocheted that for her this month. I'll put a little picture of that up here, too, um, and that is some of what I spent my time doing, but that was really, really fun to make um, and kind of funny, uh, and that is it. That's what I've worked on this month, so I did keep myself busy, obviously, um, just... Uh, just wasn't in a place where I was finishing things, but we'll see. I'm um, trying to purpose myself so July will be a little better. Hopefully I'll have a little bit more in uh, the realm of finished things to show at the end of this month. So um, thank you so much for watching and checking out what I did work on. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.